Hey beautiful people, it's Rakita and I'm back with another video. So on this video, you guys, I want to tell you guys about the FNBO credit card, you guys, the Evergreen credit card. Now I did a review on them before. I told you guys about their secure credit cards and the other credit cards, but now I want to do another review because now I want you guys to try to see if you can pre-qualify for this credit card. And also too, if you guys are looking to build your business credit, you can also try to pre-qualify for this credit card also. Now you are able to get both credit cards. So you can see right here, this is the credit card. So you are able to actually get the personal one and you're also able to get the business credit card, which is amazing you guys for those that are trying to build credit. So go ahead and try and don't forget you can try for both companies at the same time. Well, both cards at the same time, personal and business. Now you're gonna get unlimited 2% cash back on every purchase that you make so that is really good you guys and then your rewards are not going to expire i know sometimes depending on like what program you with sometimes rewards will expire they're not going to expire here they're going not going to expire here another thing that i really want to bring up is for those people that want to do balance transfers so you'll be able to do a balance transfer but you guys are going to be charged a five percent fee right now i want you guys to know that because i'm going to go to the next thing so you're going to have a five percent fee and then you may um, then you're going to have to pay the minimum $10, which one, whichever one is greater. That's what you're going to have to pay. Now you will get a 10% introductory Z APR right here. So it'll be 0% you guys, and that's going to be for 12 billing cycles. So if you guys are doing a balance transfer, yes, you guys will be able to come in and you guys will pay a balance transfer at five percent, but you will have to, you will have the zero percent too. So just understand, gonna pay five percent off that you're doing a um, balance transfer. You paying five percent going in, and then you're gonna have zero percent for twelve billing cycles. So try to see if that's even a good thing for you. Now I want to go ahead and show you guys how you can actually pre qualify for this credit card. So let's go ahead and click pre qualify now. Now they're gonna ask you what's your zip code so that they can go ahead and pre qualify you. So let me go ahead and put a zip code in. And click next. So now that I actually put the zip code in, now what they're going to want you to do is they're going to want you to go ahead and put your personal information in. So I'm going to start doing that here with you guys so that you can see how you would do it. But understand, I'm not teach you guys exactly how to do it. Make sure you guys are putting in your correct information. This is going to be your pre-qualification only, and this is not going to be like your if you guys do the pre-qualification they're not going to do a hard inquiry but if you guys go forward and get the credit card what they're going to do is they're actually going to give you a hard inquiry on your experience credit report so let me start typing in some of my information so you can go ahead and start putting your information in There you go. And start putting all your information in and understand that this is just a pre-qualification and this is going to be for if you wanted to do it for your personal credit. So let's go ahead and finish putting this information in. Okay, perfect. Now, a lot of people um, have a lot of questions about this. So after we do this application, I'm going to go over a few things with you guys. Okay, perfect. And they're asking, what is your annual income? And when it comes down to your income, you guys, you can include your alimony. If you guys are getting alimony, you can include child support or any separate maintenance income that you're receiving. So if you're working, you can include all your wages, your bonus pay, your tips, your commissions, your retirement, whatever you have coming in, you can include it. Even if, say, if your parents are actually giving you money, say, for those people that are actually in college right now, if your parents are actually giving you money, then you can include that here. So let's go ahead and include some income. And then all you have to do is click check for card offers. Now, this is not my information, so I'm not going to actually check for card offers, but that's what you would do if you're going to do it for your personal credit. Now, if you're going to do it because you want to do it for your small business, then you'll put your business legal name here and then you'll put 
um, your personal income here. Now, that means that they are going to pull your, if you guys do the business, they are going to pull your personal credit, but they are going to actually just report it to um, DMV, you guys. So if you guys are looking to build your business credit, they are going to report it to B DMV, which is going to help you build your credit. Now, let's go over a few more things. So I'm going to go over a few more things with you guys. So when it comes down to this credit card, I just want to go down like just a few things and just jot them out. Understand that you guys are going to pay a 5% transfer fee. If you guys get this credit card, you guys are going to pay a 5% transfer fee. And you're going to have the 0%, but you're going to pay that 5%. You can get a personal or you can get the small business or you can get both at the same time. It's gonna be a soft inquiry when you do the, when you guys pre-qualify, it's gonna be a soft inquiry. You're not gonna pay any interest for 12 months. You can see that right here. You're not gonna pay any interest for 12 billing cycles. After you go ahead and actually apply for the credit card because you got pre-qualified, some people said that they got pre-qualified, you know, for up to 15,000, so 15,000, 14,000. Some people said 7,500, some um, people even said 3,100 and their credit score was in the mid 600s. So if you guys actually apply for this credit card, understand that you're gonna get a hard inquiry and they're gonna pull your Experian credit report. So make sure that you actually have your freeze taken off of Experian because I showed you guys how you can actually put a freeze on your Experian credit report just using your phone quickly and then take put a freeze on, you can take it off quickly also. But understand they're gonna use your Experian credit um, your Experian credit report and your Experian credit score. And they're saying that they're gonna actually pull a copy of your um, credit report, but it's gonna be a soft pull. And some people were actually talking about, um, um, don't forget I get a lot of stuff from the FICO forum, that you may have to unfreeze your third parties, but some people said you don't have to unfreeze your third parties. And your third parties can be like Sage, Dream, Lexus, Nexus. Remember, you guys, if you guys are inside of my exclusive credit membership, then you guys definitely know all about third party bureaus and freezing these bureaus to get accounts deleted from your credit reports. So since we are on the subject of accounts on your credit reports, understand that you really want to make sure that you don't have any negative accounts on your credit reports. You don't want to have any like late payments, no bankruptcies. There's no negative accounts in general. When it comes down to this, somebody said that they did have a negative account and they still got approved, but they did have a high credit score in the 700. So just something that you guys can understand. Somebody also said that they got denied because they had too many inquiries. So understand that if you have too many inquiries, then um, you may get denied. But with the experience you got, I show you guys how to get your inquiries removed from the experience credit reports. And I have a link down below um, showing you how I got my inquiries removed in four hours and you can do the same too. So go ahead and look at my 12 hour inquiry removal ebook that I have and you guys will know exactly what you need to do to get your inquiries removed. So remove your inquiries first, wait a few hours if you have to, and then you can apply for the credit card if you feel like you have too many inquiries. Now you may get something to say, hey, we need additional verification from you. So if they said that they need additional verification from you, understand that all you may have to do is, all you have to do is to send in a copy of your ID and your proof of income and check your spam because they may email you. And after you go ahead and send this information in, they should be able to approve you. Now, somebody said that copy of their ID was, they got denied after they sent the information in. But the problem was, is that a copy of their ID was not clear. So make sure that you guys are actually scanning your ID in or making sure that you take a clear picture of your ID. So when you send this information over to them, it will be perfect. You won't have to worry about, oh, is it blurry? and things like that. So make sure that the copy of your ID is clear. Now, if you guys are going to get your business account, maybe you wanna apply so that you can get the business credit card. Understand, like I told you guys, they're going to look at your personal credit. So they're gonna pull your personal credit report. You're personally guaranteeing this credit card, but they are gonna to report to DMV, Duns and Bradstreet. So understand that they're going to report there. So that's a great way for you guys to build up your business credit. Now, this company, they're sometimes known for actually um, dropping some of your limits. So if you guys are starting to have high limits on your credit cards, this company right here, this, this um, 
bank, they're known for dropping your limits. So understand that you have a high limit right now and then all of a sudden they'll drop your limits. So keep that in mind. But hopefully everything I told you guys is very useful. Hopefully you guys are able to get this account. Maybe um, you guys apply right now and do the pre-qualification here. Maybe you guys apply and you get approved. Then after you get approved, you guys understand it is a hard inquiry. And I tell you guys, when it comes down to hard inquiries, understand that Experian is easy to get your inquiries removed from Experian, but you want to get that inquiry removed before the account is added to your credit reports. So just keep that in mind, everybody. So if you got any questions, definitely let me know. I'm definitely here for you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, text SCORE to 21000 to be a part of my texting club. And right now, I have my exclusive membership. For those people who want to get inside the exclusive membership, see what it's all about, you guys are able to join just for a dollar. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. You're able to join just for a dollar. So all you have to do is just pay a dollar, and then you'll have access for seven days. And while you have access, make sure you look at everything that's going on inside the exclusive membership. Especially, I want you guys to just look at the information that's there that you guys can actually learn from. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, text score to 21,000. I have the link down below for the $1 membership. I'll see you guys in the next video.